Welcome back for that short break. COVID is making a comeback, but Texas schools are not allowed to issue mask mandates, among other changes to COVID policies. Six News reporter Sarah Wilson explains. Just when you thought it was over, it's back. COVID-19 making its way back into schools. Kids gathering again, fall activities resuming. It's an uptick educators saw coming. So not surprised by any means. I wish it weren't the case, but it is. And I know it's the trend across the state and across the country, so. In the last month, COVID hospitalizations increased by 70% in Texas, making its way back into school districts who are now reinstating safety measures to keep everyone safe. Over at Bryan ISD, they haven't seen an increase of COVID in students, but doubling down on clean practices like hand washing. Of course, you need to be fever free, and we want you to, and just taking good care of yourself. You're your best self when you're healthy and well, and that's what we want to see in our schools. As they continue to focus on students and staff safety, Waco ISD is preparing for anything. Good hand hygiene, of course, cover your cough, all that good stuff that we typically tell kids. For COVID specifically, we are asking that parents let us know if their kid tests positive. And then those people that are positive will stay out for five days from the onset of their symptoms. I hate that it's happening, but we're ready to manage it. While mask wearing cannot be mandated, educators encourage students to follow CDC guidelines to stay healthy. But we would ask that people consider doing so. As all districts focus on the positives going into the new school year. Sarah Wilson, 6 News. And of course, you can check with your child's school for their COVID policy as it may have changed since last school year.